Hello and welcome to Celestial Chronicles, the channel where we explore the fascinating stories and legends of ancient civilizations. Today, we are going to talk about Anu, the god of the heavens in Sumerian mythology, and his role in creation, divine kingship, and cosmic order. We will also mention some of his offspring and their attributes. Anu was one of the most important and powerful gods in the Sumerian pantheon. He emerged as a primordial force from the primordial waters of Abzu and Tiamat, along with his sister and consort Ki, the goddess of the earth. Together, they shaped the heavens and the earth, and gave birth to the first generation of gods, known as the Anunnaki. Anu was the supreme ruler of the heavens, and he influenced the mortal plane through his decrees and blessings. He was also the source of authority and legitimacy for the earthly rulers, who were chosen by the gods to represent order and harmony in the human society. The kings had to perform rituals and ceremonies to honor Anu and the other gods, and to receive their favor and protection. Anu had many offspring, each with a specific role and domain in the divine hierarchy. Some of the most prominent ones were, Enlil, the god of air and storms, who inherited the kingship of the gods from Anu, and became the chief deity of the Sumerian religion. He was responsible for the weather, the seasons, the fertility of the land, and the fate of the humans. He was also the father of many gods, such as Yutu, the sun god, Nana, the moon god, and Inanna, the goddess of love and war. Enki, the god of wisdom and water, who was the master of crafts, magic, and civilization. He was the creator of humans, and the patron of arts and sciences. He was also the keeper of the Me, the divine laws and decrees that governed the cosmos and the society. He was the father of Marduk, the god of Babylon, who later became the supreme god of the Mesopotamian pantheon. Ninhursag, the goddess of the mountains and the mother of all living things. She was the consort of Enki, and the mother of many gods and goddesses, such as Ninsun, the mother of Gilgamesh, the legendary king and hero of Uruk. Anshar and Kishar, the gods of the horizon and the boundary between the heavens and the earth. They were the parents of Anu and Ki, and the grandparents of the Anunnaki. Namu, the goddess of the primordial sea, who was the mother of Anu and Ki, and the great-grandmother of the Anunnaki. Anu was also associated with the earliest moments of the creation of the universe, when he and his offspring fought against the forces of chaos and disorder, represented by Tiamat, the primordial dragon, and her monstrous allies. Anu and his allies defeated Tiamat and her allies, and used her body to form the sky and the earth. Anu then established the divine laws that maintained the balance and harmony of the cosmos. Anu was worshipped in many temples throughout Mesopotamia, especially in his main cult center, the city of Uruk, where he shared a temple with Inanna, his granddaughter. The priests of Anu performed rituals and sacrifices to honor him and to invoke his power and benevolence. Anu was also revered by the Babylonians, the Assyrians, and the Akkadians, who adopted many aspects of the Sumerian religion and culture. Anu was one of the most influential and revered gods in the ancient Near East, and his legacy can be seen in many aspects of the Mesopotamian civilization, such as art, literature, law, and politics. He was also the inspiration for many other sky gods in other cultures, such as El in Canaanite mythology, Zeus in Greek mythology, and Jupiter in Roman mythology. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified of our new videos. We upload new videos every week, covering different topics and themes related to mythology and history. Stay tuned for more mythology matters, and until next time, keep exploring the myths that matter.